Hi everyone, uh, 3DP UK here. Now, um, <clears throat> when I was printing last night, I noticed that I had a bit of a rattle in the filling head. Um, just having a look, just to sort of work out as to where that might be. Um, so, what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to disconnect these um, two connection ports for the um, cooling fans. So, I'm just going to pop them off like so sure that we get it the right way round and then we get the extruder and then just take that but yeah so what what I found that was when when I was printing it was like a real horrible little rattling noise and I'm just wondering whether um, it was actually something to do with the um, the cooling fans um, sometimes they've not been quite um, tightened up properly and um, what you'll get is get a, like a, a funny little rattling sound just from that actually um, I found it on some of my other printers that I've had um, so let me just pull that off um, so we've got the three cooling fans so you've got the the hot end cooling van at the front and then you've got the parts cooling vans that come out through the bottom here one on either side but um, you'll see that each of them are held in with just some bolts on both sides. Now I find that when they're factory tightened, they're not always done properly. So what? See, see how I mean? Um, it, this one's. I mean, just tightening it up is is pretty loose. Now that would create the rattle. So I'm just going to not over tighten, just gently tighten it. As you can see, um, thinking it was the front one and but yeah once again that one's quite loose and um, only needs a little bit for it to vibrate um, it's not ideal as you can see and um, yep yeah, so just a gentle tighten don't over tighten it because obviously it's into a plastic thread um, if you go too tight it's likely just to to um, basically shred that um, and then you're just the rattle will be ten times worse um, while, while we've got the head off, let's just tighten some of these other ones, like so. There you go, just a little bit. That one's a little bit loose, um, and that one as well. Um, these fans, I uh, can't seem to get into them, but they seem quite secure. Oh, that one's a bit loose. See, that's got a little bit of a rattle to that. You can see, I've also noticed, actually on mine, there's just a little split in the plastic there. I don't know if you guys can see that, just there. Um, you need to be careful with that. Um, I might loosen that bit off just a little bit, just so that it doesn't make that split even worse. Um, like I say, the other bit part to check is just this bottom one, which is the light. That might create a bit of a wobble as well. Um, you can hear, I mean, if I hold the wires, that might actually help. There's still a bit of a knock. I'm just wondering whether it's this one here. Um, how I get to that, uh, I'm not completely sure. Um, I'm just going to have a look over it and uh, double check. So um, the side cooling parts aren't actually held in directly at the um, connection points. They're held in by this bracket here, which I showed you just literally earlier. Um, I've undone the bolt to that as you can see that's the one with the split I might just whack a bit of glue on that when I next take it apart but I've got a few prints that I need to do urgently today so I'm just gonna it's not a movable part it's just a bracket um, these fans are literally slotted in they don't they're not held in at all um, I believe that's the particular fan that I've got a bit of a rattle on you can hear so obviously when the airflow is going that rattle would be quite severe um, it's nothing untoward, obviously, I wanted to double check, um, being a new machine, a lot of these bolts aren't completely tight, so, like I say, um, just tighten them up, these front brackets are just plastic threaded, so be careful, you will cross thread, um, tighten up the um, hot end fan just a little bit, till you can feel a, just a slight bite, tighten up the LED, don't need to be shoot super tight, um, all of these connections fit onto the main board on the filling head over here, um, to take it off, all it was was um, you've got a smaller bolt on the top left um, towards the extruder and then three slightly bigger ones on the right top, bottom left and bottom right.
all you do is just undo those with your supply tools this shroud just comes off quite nicely forwards you don't have to undo anything else take care these wires are fragile they are important um, any damages you're, you're likely to wipe out your print you won't be able to do anything like I say reconnect it once you've tightened up a few of those um, put it back on and we're good to go so that's 3dp UK the hot end shroud um, if you hear a rattle it's most likely these these fans I'm gonna see if I can make up something maybe just um, a bit of a rubber wrap on the bottom end just so that it's got something to take away the vibration but don't worry if you hear the rattle it's likely that take care like and subscribe okay so now that um, I've put the shroud back on just give it a check like I say um, the bolts are at the top and bottom this one nearest the extruder is a smaller bolt remember that so on your build plate um, just put the three bolts that are for the top left, uh, bottom left, top right, bottom right to one side and then the smaller one at the back. Just remember it's important to get things back where you got it from. Um, what I want to do now, now that I've put everything on, as you know when you put things on, some of these in quite tight space, make sure that you haven't knocked any wires, nothing's blocked. And then over your display screen um, you have, let me just move this over, you have, I um, don't know if you can see that, so you just want to go to speed, um, your target fan, um, I'm not sure if you can actually see that, so it probably wasn't worth changing that, um, let's go back up to here, um, I'll explain it anyway, on your main screen you want to go um, into tools, speed, and then you want to go to target fan speed and just press 100%. You should, when you press OK, as you can hear, both fans have come on. Just make sure that you've got airflow, which I have. Um, just check that the fans are spinning, which they are. Um, and then the last thing, obviously, the connections are the two fans either side cooling fans and light so I did take that off just make sure your lights back on which it is you can see and we're good to go so the shrouds on take care with it double check if you've got a rattle it's most likely the fans now these two side fans as I said earlier in the video um, they're, they're not fixed they are slotted in there's going to be a rattle we're going to come up with something that will help with that even if it's just a, a, a small rubber strip just put it in there keeps it secure and um, take care with them they are plastic um, and that's the end of the video it's a simple video it helps out I know we're, we're finding lots of noises um, take time with it and we're good all right like and subscribe take care